Hi, my name is Fred. I've been with the club four years and I sail all four classes that we race here in Melbourne. I'm Joe Widmayer. I have a, my number is 348. I have a 95, a 65, and a Solon. And I come infrequently. I'm Robert Montanari. My boat number is 63. And my rival is right here, these guys. They're all my rivals. Ron, my boat number is 21. And my rival's Fred today. Hi, I'm Tom. My boat's number 49. I'm a beginner, and this is going to be a challenging day. <laughs> Good day race fans, this is Brock Holliday coming to you from Melbourne, Florida for a very special treat. We have the DF95 Round the World Tour. In this race, skippers must navigate their way all the way around the buoys that are on the outer edge of the Melbourne Pond. This will be an amazing race with many challenges. Good, good boat. Good boaty boat. <laughs> Our self horse team is so excited to be bringing you this unusual race and as a record, this is our 71st video! Congratulations team and all our supporters! Again, not the best of starts. You're right, Ron. No one likes to have a poor start and especially be the last one around the first mark. But you are an exceptional sailor, and I think you can make up a lot of ground. Bob in boat number 63 has about a three or four boat length lead, heading into the second mark. has now extended his lead and has about a 10 boat lead. Amazing! And this is with some really good sailors. Way to go, Bob! As I believe that's number 49, Tom, in second place. See that boo-boo out there? So now Fred has missed the mark and crashed in the top, only giving Bob more of a lead. Amazing! Look at the power! Look at that lead! Getting out of consistent fourth is a good thing. in third place. After that boo-boo, by Fred. Look at this! 
Bob's 20 boat lead has shrank to about four or five boat lengths. I wasn't paid the proper attention and I paid for it. Now Bob is all dazed and confused and he's caught in the irons. Is this going to be the biggest meltdown in Sail Wars history? I can't believe it, but Tom is now right behind him. Maybe half a boat length back. Amazing! I think it's good racing. And look at Bob. He is still trying to blow his amazing lead. Let's see how Tom is doing. What is this? Fred has now passed all three boats. And is that rock behind him? We got lucky. The first two boats parked it. And I didn't. fans, right now Fred has taken over first place and Ron is in second place. Bob had a complete meltdown. You can see he is in third place. Let's see if he can make up some ground and catch them. But no, Tom has taken over third place. Amazing! I never would have believed this. Feels good, it's uh, very even today. This looks like Bob's chance to pass Ron. <laughs> uh, it just didn't go well, that's all. I kind of got stuck out over here in the wind, I wasn't paying. I believe. Let's see, they're coming down to the finish line. Look at that Gus. Bob, you, wait a minute. Bob is missing the mark. Bobby, that's tough. Is that tough? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. That's the mark. Yeah. Oh, all right, don't worry about it. Rule number one, know the course. I got lucky on that one. And Bob appears dejected. He won't even go across the finish line. I ended up with Zippo. Not the boat's fault, not the sail's fault, not the stock's fault. Oh, no, Bob's fault. Let's see who's going to take second. It appears that Tom has the insider track. Try to eliminate a few mistakes. <laughs> and Ron is going to take third. Uh, he caught the shift at the last mark, and I was not able to catch him. So, but good sailing on his part. It's a wonderful thing. Hit better every minute. I wasn't paid the proper attention. Well, there you have it, Cell Wars fans. Fred is the champion of the Round the World race. We at Cell Wars are so happy to bring you races like this. Please support us by subscribing, liking, and of course, share with all your friends. This is Brock Holiday signing off, and I'll see you at the pub.